All right. All right, aquaponics as an alternative to traditional agriculture by me, Angel Franklin. Slash and burn agriculture is damaging to the environment and the climate of the regions it is practiced in. This is a large contributor to deforestation. Agricultural expansion and the creation of pasture land are the number one global causes of deforestation. Soybeans are a major export in Brazil, so I will be using them as a plant subject for my project. Corridors catfish are a type of bottom feeders that are native to the rivers of the Amazon basin. For my project, these one to two inch albino subspecies will be perfect for the use in my aquaponics group. The goal of my project is to compare the growth of the soybean plant in aquaponics and traditional agriculture in order to determine if aquaponics could be used as an alternative to slash and burn method of agriculture for farmers in Brazil. For my methods, I use two aquaponics units and six plant pots for a total of 12 sections to grow plants. Each section was numbered one through six and divided between two groups, the aquaponics units and the soya plants. Each section received two seeds and direct access to sunlight and water. A centimeter ruler was also used to track the growth daily. The data collected in my experiment shows that the plants grown in aquaponics grew taller than those grown in soil. When comparing the final heights for aquaponics, plant 4.1 and soil plant 1.1, both of which have the tallest height among their group, it is evident that the aquaponics system allowed the plants to reach heights almost 14 centimeters taller than the soil did. The average of the final heights of all aquaponics plants is 23.32 centimeters, whereas the average final height of all the soil plants is 6.8 centimeters. This indicates that aquaponics allows the seeds to sprout and grow quicker than the soil does. This graph illustrates the final heights of all plants grown for this project. It is evident that aquaponics plants have significantly taller heights. A graph of the final heights of all plants shows that the plants grown in aquaponics reached taller heights than the soil grown plants in the 10 days in which they were tracked. Because the aquaponics plants grew taller, as shown in the figure below, it is evident that aquaponics is more effective than traditional agriculture. This tells me that aquaponics can be used as a more efficient and more environmentally safe alternative to slash and burn agriculture. During the experiment, there were a few observations that had minor impacts. First, Kit number one had a significant amount of algae growth towards the end, where kit number two had no algae growth at all. Secondly, two aquaponics plants broke away from the roots early on, so those plants and the corresponding soil plants have been omitted from the data. If I were to do the project over, I would extend the duration in order to see if the growth trend might change at any point. I would like to thank Mr. Schuster and the Biotechnology Department at McKinley Technology High School for funding this project and providing intellectual assistance as needed. Thank you.